Alright guys, today we're going to talk about guns. And let me tell you something what, I don't know that much about guns. So I'm just going to show you what I know and what I figured out. Alright, this is what I know as being a bullpup design. I think this is a French made weapon. This is actually an airsoft gun that uh, never got used for anything except uh, gathering dust around here, but it looks so damn cool. So anyway, the idea behind a bullpup is that you can eject the clip, you know, this way. It is behind your hand and it's, you know, it gives you the length of the barrel so that you can, uh, this is what I know about it, that it uh, can still have the velocity of being a full-sized rifle, that it uh, creates the compression. This is the best I know. And uh, that the fact that it's very small and compact means that it's great for close quarter fighting, that you still have all the punch that you originally had from a full-size ri size rifle, but you have the ease and uh, availability of it being a short rifle, like an assault weapon. Okay, so... Now, Pal's going to need something like this for the movie, and we've gone over this and over this and over this. I'm going to give you some selections to look at, see which one you like best, and let's talk about do we really want to incorporate this. And just to make the backstory interesting, I went ahead and I designed it in such a way that it really would work, or it really could work. You know, the way a shotgun has a choke that you could use for, like, duck hunting is it keeps the pattern, the spread together much closer when you fire it. It keeps the grouping very close. Well, you can't do that on the fly with any other weapon that I know of that I've ever heard of. But the weapon I designed, it fires three rounds at one time. The barrels do not spin, but they look like they do spin. But what happens is it expands and contracts with a, with a simple uh, lever action, or could it even be like a worm gear, but it would have to be extremely precise and extremely fast. But anyway, by spreading and separating the barrels, you make the grouping of, of the, the shot larger or smaller. And... Everybody says, oh, well, how on earth are you going to feed this? Well, first of all, it's caseless ammunition in the future, so you don't have to worry about ejections whatsoever. Once the round is in the chamber and it's ignited, that's it, it's off, and it's, it's gone forever. So what I thought about is using um, a type of a gear that's a lot like a, um, a centrifugal clutch. And what it would do is it would hit pegs where if it went to the right, it would expand when it went to the left. You know, rotation, half rotation, just a little half inch, whatever it is that it would make them, uh, the grouping closer together, whatever. And this would be a selection that Powell would actually have on his trigger. So if somebody's, you know, 35 yards away, he could put a, an extremely small grouping together, or if they were in the same room, he could open it up. And by giving a burst of three taps instead of like a double tap, you just boom, 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 three taps, you would be putting nine rounds, you know, in a very similar pattern. So I think as an assault weapon, that could be something very, very, you know, desirable to have. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go over it. It's just a couple of brain farts that I had. We've gone over so many different pistols for the movie, but we're finally to the point of shooting. Like next week, we're going to start shooting again. We had to change so many things, and you guys voted on new things, and we're going to redo a whole bunch until it's absolutely perfect. So that's where we're at right now. So I have a little bit of time between uh, shooting and building the new set, you know, redoing the set. It's no big deal. But anyway... That's where I'm at. That's what I did all day today. So I want you guys to vote on which gun you like best. Let's talk about it. Could we actually make a weapon like that? And is that something that Powell would want to carry in the movie? See you guys.